Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. We have another edition of Education Matters. And with us, we have Dr. Craig Douglas, who is calling in this morning. Dr. Douglas, it is good to see you. How are you? I'm well, Blake. Thank you. And thank you for accommodating my schedule. I appreciate being able to call in today. Absolutely. Anytime, you are welcome anyway. So kids are back at school. So we want to hear what you really noticed, Dr. Douglas, in the first few weeks. How were parents, though, adjusting to the busy school season? So school is back, and it's exciting. And, and now some of the excitement has probably worn off. And the reality of routines, it, it's now starting to settle, settle in. Uh, it's been a bit of a bumpy ride in some ways due to the weather, the extreme heat, making classrooms that are not air conditioned quite uncomfortable. We've seen even downstate, especially some school closures because of it. But all in all, I think people are doing very well. I, I so admire our teachers. They do such great outreach to families. And parents are doing very well adjusting and being flexible to the rollout of back to school. One of the highlights from the past couple of segments that we've done is the, the one that talked about the importance of parents taking time for themselves mm -hmm. to carving out time for themselves so that they can maintain balance and that makes such great sense to me as a former superintendent because parents have so many pressures on them right and and being able to stay calm and stay focused and be in balance that's crucial for families this time of year Yes, and I know uh, it takes a while to adjust, so doing great. I'd love to hear it. What about our students? What do they need to remember as they get back into their routine? Well, ditto for the comments about parents. Students have done very well, especially with the heat and some of the other opening uh, issues that are unexpected but need to be accommodated. And students are now selling into routines. Probably the biggest challenge, especially for young students, is to adjust the bedtime, mm. uh, going to bed earlier, getting up earlier, especially when, you know, frankly, it's still daylight in some cases when kids need to, to get tucked in, uh, but they need to do that for their own balance and their own rest uh, so that they're fueled and ready to go uh, back, back to the daily grind, that routine that needs to get established, right? Yeah. And there are other aspects, too, working in extracurricular activities and meetings after school, transportation uh, routines being established, and then, dare I say it, Blake, homework mm. when you study. You know, how do you carve that time out and work that into a daily routine? That's a very individualized challenge, mm -hmm. family by family, student by student. Yeah, so trial and tribulations. Uh, we don't expect you to have the perfect down first few weeks so that's great so lots happening at the beginning of the school year there is a lot of commotion so parents uh, as they look after their students if they see any issues should they wait to speak up or uh, wait to see how it works out well being still early September uh, it's better to address any kind of uh, hiccups early rather than later um, it might mean, say for a high school student, and I'm just being hypothetical here, again, it's going to be on a case-by-case -case basis, but there might be a need at, at the high school level to even consider a schedule change or an adjustment in class load uh, earlier rather than later, mm -hmm. especially if the student is, is maybe not comfortable or struggling or, or whatever. And I don't mean to be negative at all. I'm just urging parents that if something feels out of sync, don't, don't hesitate to step up and, and make that outreach back to the school. It might be to the guidance counselor, it might be to the teacher, it could be the principal. It might even be a transportation issue. Uh, you know, so it might be the transportation office. My, my point is, jumping on it now is probably gonna be better than trying to hope for the best and see if things settle out. It all depends on the age of the student, the type of challenge that they're looking at. Um, it may be a simple fix of maybe just an extra attention to whatever homework assignment, but the point is keep that radar out, parents. Keep monitoring, seeing how things are going, and if there's a concern that you have, you know, address it now mm -hmm. rather than later. Yeah, before it gets any worse. 
And Dr. Douglas, what other advice would you have for families at this time? Well, I just wish everyone all the best. Uh, stay in communication back and forth. Uh, personally, Blake, I always felt as a school superintendent that if we had the child, the parent, and the classroom teacher on the same page, our probability of success was really close to 100%. Mm -hmm. Conversely, if any one of those three aspects are out of sync, uh, it's tough, and that means communication lines need to be opened up quickly uh, to address whatever it is may be the challenge. But I wish everyone all the best. Yeah, I can't wait to see what the year brings. Dr. Douglas, thank you. Thank you so much. Take care and be well. We will. You as well. Thank you. And for more information on today's topic, make sure you go to the lifestyle page on our website, WNEM.com.